this is Bruce Friedman of Adult Site Broker, and welcome to Adult Site Broker Talk, where every week we interview one of the movers and shakers of the adult industry, and we give you a tip on buying and selling websites. This week we'll be talking to entrepreneur Jack Armstrong of Magnum Ring. Adult Site Broker is proud to introduce ASB Marketplace, the first platform where you can buy and sell adult sites and domains for free. ASB Marketplace allows buyers and sellers the chance to come together on properties that are valued below our company's minimum of $50,000. Don't pay for other marketplaces when ASB Marketplace gives you this service for free. Visit asbmarketplace.com and sign up as a seller or buyer today. And don't forget ASB Cash, the first affiliate program for an adult website brokerage where you can earn as much as 20% of our broker commission referring sellers and buyers to us at Adult Site Broker. Check out asbcash.com for more details and to sign up. Now let's feature our property of the week that's for sale at Adult Site Broker. We are proud to list for sale a network of two mainstream flirt chat sites. The sites get their traffic from the UK, Australia, Belgium, the Netherlands, and New Zealand. Both are mainstream flirt chat websites with credit monetization on a pay-per-message basis. They have a loyal customer base of 27,000-plus real members, with many customers still active from 2017. Some have spent more than 10,000 euros. The average customer spends 450 euros. The sites have very steady recurring revenue. With very low overhead and a proven ROI of 900% on every euro spent on affiliate marketing, these sites have room to grow from where they are now. The weekly upkeep of the sites requires very little time, and most of the work consists of promoting the sites to bring in new customers and tease the existing 27,000-plus strong member database. Many great markets are yet untapped for these sites, but could easily be added, such as Germany, France, and the USA. Thanks to the non-adult nature, you can easily promote them via Google and email. You can buy these two great sites now for only 484,000 euros. Now time for this week's interview. My guest today on Adult Site Broker Talk is Jack Armstrong of Magnum Rings. Jack, thanks for being with us today on Adult Site Broker Talk. Well, thank you, Bruce. We're happy to be here. It's a pleasure to have you. Now, Jack is the founder and product developer of Magnum Rings. In 2008, his career in real estate was decimated by the Great Recession. I can only imagine. Uh, He spent a lot of time searching for new career options. He's always been fascinated with the concept of permanent penis enlargement, so he read every article, report, and study on the subject. Eventually, he came across the subject of body modification. You may have heard about the African tribal people who stretch the length of their necks Or you've seen bodybuilders who were average Joes and ended up looking like Superman. Uh, Those and all other forms of body modification rely on the physiological processes of stressing tissue to create micro tears, which causes the body to make new cells and promote significant changes. Thus came the birth of magnum rings, um, which the system employs the same science <clears throat> Excuse me, and is achieved through a series of exercises and stretches. The world of permanent penis enlargement is met with a great deal of skepticism, as one can imagine. Um, this industry, like any, has had its chair of bad products that are long on promises. I like that long on promises, but come up short on results. Magnum Rings is an affordable, common sense approach to permanent penile enlargement. A press release from you says that over 68% of men want a bigger penis. That's wild. Now, where does this desire come from, and what makes men think that their penis is too small? Well, Bruce, I, I, some would say that the desire for a larger penis goes back to the beginning of time. Uh, mm. more, more, more recently, I think that uh, with, the, with the explosion of the Internet and the porn industry, that... Uh, uh, men have uh, increasingly are looking for 
uh, for ways to enlarge their penis, and the the sure. industry has grown tremendously. So, yeah. uh, I think it, it there's a number of factors involved, and I, I don't think most men think they're necessarily too small, but they they like the idea of being well endowed. Sure, sure. I mean, it started with John Holmes, and uh, oh God, uh, what was that guy? Uh, Long Duck. Uh, Oh no! I was thinking. Of, I was thinking of the movie Sixteen Candles. Long Duck. No, Long Duck I Dong. Was, uh, Long uh, Dong Silver. That's it. Long Dong Silver. Oh my yep. God! That guy. That guy was just freaking huge. Yeah, you look at him, and everybody's got a small penis. So, <laughs> how did you get the idea to deal with the topic of penis enlargement, and how did you finally come up with the idea for Magnum Rings? Well, as as you mentioned in the intro, there that the. Really, my research on body modification led me to uh, led me to magnum rings. That uh, the process of stressing tissue uh, to create micro tears, uh, which then the body naturally heals through the physiological process of of hypertrophy and hyperplasia mm. uh, to heal heal the micro tears, and so. Uh, it's a unique approach. I I don't think anyone else had had specifically taken this this angle on it and uh uh that's that's how we ended up with a basically a process that allows the user to create create high tension overload mm -hmm. in the penis by by uh forcing blood into the penis uh mm -hmm. to create the necessary micro tears yeah it's i mean obviously it makes a ton of sense because everything in the body I think is able to do that. I mean, I think of the times that I've spent at the gym and, you know, I think everyone pretty much knows that, uh, what you're doing is you're tearing down your muscles and then your muscles build up. That's why you don't work the same muscle group two days in a row. Um, which I'm sure you're probably, uh, telling people not to do this two days in a row. So it's, it's kind of the same concept, right? It is by all means. And it's, uh, you know, it is a process, and and we we tell men that uh, you know it takes time, and and not to expect overnight results, mm -hmm. uh, and that indeed it is important to follow our instructions that is, include uh, using magnum rings in the system every other day for about fifteen minutes, and mm -hmm. and allowing those off days to allow for the uh, for the tissue to heal. Right. Uh, right. It brings up the question of of you know what what sort of pain might be associated with it, and yeah, you know I'm happy to say there's really some, only some light bruising mm -hmm. uh, that that comes with the magnum rings, and uh, that'll that goes away within that 24 hour period, and you're you're good to go on the uh, in the following day. You're you're ready for action, as the case may be. Exactly, exactly. And we, we, of course, always mention to people that uh, you don't want to overdo it, that safety does come first, uh, mm -hmm. and that if you feel any uh, uh, sharper pains, you want to discontinue use right away until that goes away. Yeah. And it's, it's, ne it's never a bad idea to uh, talk to a medical professional beforehand just to uh, uh, see if, see if the system suits you. Yeah. That, and that brings up my question. I mean, obviously your penis is a pretty, uh, sensitive part, uh, in the area that is sensitive, uh, of, of a man's uh, physiology. How safe is it? Well, <clears throat> we have, uh, never had reports of anyone being having any any damage done i think that wow that's great uh because our system is a, it's a you're creating the high tension overload by using our patented system of pressing on the scrotum area uh so it's a it's an internal f uh forcing of the blood into the penis chambers and so unlike you know penis maybe penis pumps or traction devices, which uh, I've never really used, but they, mm -hmm. in my mind, they, they tend to be a little more radical because they're introducing an, an outside force. Uh, yeah. With magnum yeah. rings, you're, it's an internal uh, surge of blood, which uh, I think helps, helps with the uh, 
uh, introduction and the safety of, of the product. Okay. Now, uh, you, I think you kind of answered part of this. Okay. Uh, how often should it be used and what results can be achieved? Well, uh, we recommend usage for at least starting out 15 minutes every other day. Mm-hmm. And uh, that can be changed to daily use once you, once your body is acclimated to it and you're, you're, oh, really? you have learned the system, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the gains, of course, uh, everyone is different. Uh, we're happy to say that gains are coming both length and girth. Mm. And, uh, you know, I personally, I've been using Magnum rings for about three years and, mm-hmm. uh, my gains, I would say have been about 50%. Jeez. That's crazy. 50%. Correct. My goodness gracious. That's better than plastic surgery. Well, and a whole lot less expensive too. <laughs> yeah. And less painful. I, now, now we were talking about every other day, but you said eventually someone can use it every day. How's that when you're, when you're creating tears, don't you need to give it the additional day to recover? Well, Bruce, I mean, it, it's, uh, I think it certainly depends on the user user and we never want to encourage anyone to overdo it or take it further than what their body tells them is right but yeah, yeah. once once you build that muscle and you've you've uh, uh, <clears throat> the, the 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 tissue is acclimated to that that surge of blood uh, I, my personal ex- experience has been much less uh, uh, transformation on the on the tissue itself Mm-hmm. And one thing you said, pushing on the scrotum, uh, you're not talking about like squeezing your balls, are you? Well, it's not so much a squeezing of the balls, but it's pressing, uh, pressing the scrotum into the upper thigh area. Okay. And uh, the, the key to the whole system is creating that surge, uh, uh-huh. creating that surge into the penal chambers. Okay. And Okay. So it's uh, it's not a it's not an actual squeezing, but it's more of a pressing of the scrotum area. Mm, okay, not squeezing, but pressing. Mm, okay, all right, all right. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Anything down there, I'm always like, hmm. Okay. Um, now there are several other products that also aim to achieve permanent growth of the penis. What are the advantages of your product compared to other products? Well, the, the, there certainly are a number of differences. You've, uh, you know, many people when they first see magnum rings, they confuse it with a, a soft cock ring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. W- which the, the cock ring, of course, is more intended to constrict blood into the penis. Mm. Uh, where, where with magnum rings, <clears throat> excuse me, with sure. magnum r- rings, it's our, our system slows the flow of blood from leaving the penis back into the body. Uh, mm. The most commonly, I guess, the devices you see out there are the extenders or traction devices. Yeah. And those those require a much, uh, much longer commitment of, of wearing the things for about six hours a day. And uh, six they, hours a day. Who the hell has time for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I have never tried one myself. I couldn't imagine, but I guess they, that's a, they, that's they like a full time job. Them, <laughs> they try to make them small enough where they're not visible through your pants or something. But, uh-huh. you know, they, they, uh, these traction devices are more working on length. You really can't add mm. girth uh, okay. with that sort of device. Uh-huh. And, you know, even the, even the inexpensive ones, uh, are, are a couple hundred dollars. So, uh, the Magnum ring system is, is 39.95, basically $40 for the system. Mm. And, uh, it's, I think is much more effective than, than the traction devices. And then you have, of course, the penis pumps, which will draw blood into the penis uh, uh, which will give a, a temporary sense of enlargement. Uh, but it, I've never heard anyone other than the manufacturers say that there's permanent gains. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it sounds like yours is more the real deal, and theirs is kind of like, well, yeah, you know, <laughs> the flash. Well, and I I'm not I'm not here to badmouth other systems. I just think we offer an alternative that's uh, not only much less expensive, but mm-hmm. uh, in in my mind is uh, is very effective and and should be considered if this uh, if penis enlargement is something that <clears throat> a man is. Uh, how did you come up with this concept? I mean, it's so revolutionary. Um, what what made you? What made you? Uh, how, I mean, how do you how did you come up with this idea? Well, as as you mentioned in the intro, that I had a lot of free time during the the Great Recession, and oh boy, uh, the, su- <laughs> the subject had always been of interest to me. I yeah, uh, I was the one of the one of the ones who uh, bought into insight which was back in the 1990s you may remember smiling bob was uh, their their character but uh, mm-hmm. you know I, I i believe that every every problem has a solution so i i yeah. really dove into this and read every article and uh researched it as far as i could and and uh, as you mentioned came up with this with the uh concept of body modification which of course leads to uh, creating natural stress to to form the micro tears and uh, stimulate cell growth uh, through the uh, hyperplasia. Now you're you're only charging forty dollars, which kind of stunned me because I'm thinking to myself, well, you've got the answer to a problem that, as you said, uh, you know, the majority, the vast majority of men would like solved. Why aren't you charging more? Well, you know, we're relatively new into the market, uh, yeah. and of course, there's so much skepticism that surrounds the whole whole uh, process of penis enlargement that we feel we needed to be at a price point that would say men would say, "Well, you know, this sounds novel. Let's maybe I'll give it a try." And yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot easier to hand over forty dollars than. Uh, two or three hundred for for some of our uh, alternative systems. Yeah, uh, sure. So it's uh, and plus, I mean, it's it's our device is relatively inexpensive to make. It's uh, latex sure. medical tubing. Uh, mm-hmm. We get a cord lock to adjust it, and uh, I think the biggest part of the system, besides the rings themselves, is actually the uh, the exercises and the mm-hmm. Uh, and the patented part of our system, which yeah. uh, is is really the the key to it. The the magnum rings themselves are uh, they're an important component, but they're they're almost like the if you're using the comparison with a weightlifter, we're uh-huh. we're the weights that the user uh-huh. will will have to uh, to create that necessary stress. Yeah, no, no, no doubt about it. Um, well, hey. High profit margin never stopped anybody before. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. How are you finding this industry to be in, by the way? I mean, you come from the world of real estate, which is obviously way different. And I have a lot of friends who do real estate in California, where I'm from. Um, in fact, my wife does it here. Um, how, how have you found the industry? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting, Bruce. The, uh, I have found the people most critical of the whole Magnum Rings idea are people that are within the industry, our are, are direct competitors. Uh, <laughs> they, of course, they will poo-poo it and say, you know, oh, God. How, how can you expect you can create uh, any sort of significant gains with this, with this tool? And it's, yeah. uh, uh, so it's been, unlike real estate, where we have an environment of cooperation and working together, Mm-hmm. Uh, I have found the industry to be t- pretty difficult to navigate, and uh, thanks to some consultants I've worked with, and cl- inc- including our friend Jason, yes, uh, he's he's helped me uh, kind of avoid some of the landmines. And you know, mm-hmm. again, our growth has been slow. I, I wish we would have taken off from day one, but we mm-hmm. we believe in our product, and we know it's we know that uh, once it, enough people are uh, are exposed to it, that uh, we we think it'll we think we have a very bright future. 
and and the inter- the internet side of our industry is a lot nicer by the way just to let you know i don't know if you've been been able to go out to shows or anything yet i know the last year nobody's had any shows but uh, i think you're going to find the uh, you're going to find our, our our side of the industry to be much nicer and much more cooperative and we do work together that's uh, that's a big difference that's where it's a lot like real estate um so tell us about your money back guarantee well, we, we really feel it's important to stand behind our product. And so we offer a, a, a no questions asked uh, guarantee that uh, if you don't see results that you like within four to six weeks, uh, just return the product to us and, and we'll uh, uh, refund, refund uh, the total cost, uh, excluding postage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I can add there, Bruce, that in the... In the three years we've been working on Magnum Rings, that uh, mm-hmm. the number of returns I can count on one hand. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So you weren't you when you did that? Weren't you kind of worried that people would use the product, take advantage of it, and then send it back? You know, that's always a concern, and and this is my first experience in any sort of retail online type business. Uh, sure. But no, that uh, that has not been the case, and and. Uh, Good. We are, it gives us a lot of reassurance that we're on the right path. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, another thing that I think comes into play here that um, I think when you develop a product and then use the product and see the kind of success you've had yourself with the product, it's very easy for you to go out there and show conviction in it. Isn't that true? Uh, oh, by all means, as, as a person in sales, you've got to believe in your product and mm-hmm. it's, uh, uh, again, it's, I get a lot of positive feedback from, from, uh, past customers. We have a number that have reordered a second time around though. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if you use Magnum rings as they're intended, uh, they really should last you for, for quite some time that, uh, reordering is not something that you should should need to do anytime soon okay now which sales channels are you offering your products on so far well as i mentioned at this point most of our sales have been uh, online through our our website at Mm -hmm. magnumrings.com we also have a uh, uh, a number of affiliates and uh, reviewers that are out there where we have reviews on supplementcritique.com and mm-hmm. uh, supplementpolice.com and sizedevelopment.com. And, and some of those are affiliates. Uh, some mm-hmm. others like Supplement Police, they, do, they are not an affiliate marketer. They're just a, mm-hmm. a third-party voice for the industry out there. So uh, nice. but we've had great exposure through those, those channels. You know, you said the response has been really good. Maybe you can uh, maybe you can give us a little more information on that. Well, I, I think that overall people are first surprised at the low cost of the product, uh, mm-hmm. but they they have said that uh, you know it's fun to use. Mm-hmm. It's uh, some have used it as a a sex enhancer, uh, hmm. which it's it's really not necessarily intended for that, but they. Uh, are using it uh, on uh, on some occasions as almost a cock ring rather than the uh, enhancement system that it is. Uh, mm. But, you know, we pride ourselves in uh, customer service and being there to answer questions for for customers on, on the system and how it works. And also we stress that uh, safety comes first. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's important in something like that where you're doing body modification that uh, uh, that you listen to your body and and uh, we're there to help along the way as far as what uh, where people have had success and maybe where people have had challenges using the system with your uh, with your resellers okay um, what kind of feedback have you gotten from them well, it, it you know it really depends on how how much they've been promoting the site. I'd say that most most of them have not actually tried the system themselves. They've uh, if they're reselling our product, they generally are selling 
15 or 20 other products. And so yeah. uh, I can't say, speak to really too much feedback uh, other than, than uh, they, they consider it a very novel approach and that uh, uh, they're happy to introduce their, their client base to it. I mean, don't you, don't you agree with me that unless you've tried something, it really becomes hard to sell it? Yeah, I would by all means. And I, you know, I think I think it's important that not only that people try it, but that they uh, uh, are committed to the system because it's you know, something like penis enlargement. It is a journey, and it takes time. Mm-hmm. And it uh, though you're going to start seeing results, and we say four weeks, six weeks uh, mm-hmm. for significant growth, you you really have to stay with it. And I I follow up with a lot of our customers just to see how it's going and how they're enjoying mm-hmm. the, the Magnum rings. And uh, you'd be surprised. A lot of them say, oh, I, I did it for a month and then I lost interest and I put them in a drawer and, and I haven't tried them in the last six months. So uh, again, it takes a degree of commitment yes. to working, working the process. And I'm not sure that resellers, you know, they're their interest is in uh, obviously turning these and and mm-hmm. uh, making a profit, and uh, they may not be so uh, interested in actual uh, permanent enlargement. Uh, what kind of uh, what kind of education do you give your uh, distributors? Well, we have a uh, a very detailed instruction manual that comes with Magnum rings. Yeah, and so it's it's uh, it's it's a pretty simple. Uh, process and the the exercises and the routines are uh, pretty straightforward. So we uh, we give every detail as much as we can to uh, mm-hmm. make sure that they're getting off on the right foot and getting the the most out of their workouts. Okay, okay. But I mean, in terms of the people that are selling it, do they get any extra training? No, they really don't. It's uh, mm. you know we're there to offer any training that that they may need, but it's. Uh, yeah. And it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty straightforward and simple process. You're, you know, you're pressing on your scrotum and and forcing mm-hmm. blood into the penis. And once they get the, once they get the feel down of what they're doing and and how 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 it's working, mm-hmm. uh, I think it it's pretty much self-explanatory. Might help if you did like a, like an animated video. You might want to talk to Jason about that. I'm sure uh, I'm sure it's crossed his mind. Uh, those, those work very well. I think, I think an actual video for the, for a product like this might be just a little bit, uh, you know, but, uh, but I think animated would be kind of fun. Yeah. And we've had a number of customers suggest that and, uh, you you bringing up, bringing it up here might just, uh, be the impetus to get us going forward with that. I've been in marketing my whole life, my friend. So I, (laughs) I get these ideas. (laughs) Um, I can't, I can't turn it off, man. I just can't turn it off. Um, now I understand you're looking for distributors, especially in Europe. What kind of criteria are you using to pick distributors? Well, you know, at this point we're, we're, uh, excited about the worldwide market. Many of our, yes. probably about t- 10% of our orders come from, uh, overseas and, and the majority mm-hmm. of those of course are Europe and Australia. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're we're there to uh, to help help any uh, retailers or distributors that would like to uh, include Magnum rings in their product line. As mm-hmm. as far as uh, our criteria is, is that we're we want to uh, make sure that that the retailers have uh, have as much information as they need to make a decision. And we're we're of course uh, offering offering samples to uh to send out to anyone who's interested that might might like to give it a try and and mm-hmm. uh, uh make a decision informed decision on on their own is your uh, is your site by the way uh translated into the, like japanese and chinese uh no it is not i i think uh, there are certainly uh platforms that will do that for for the user yeah. but uh we do we do not specifically have have a site geared to different different languages this region's a huge market, especially for people who want to have larger penises because the penis sizes of the Asian men tend to be very small. 
and uh, yeah, and e- Asia is just an incredible market. So an- another thing to give some thought to. In fact, uh, when we uh, when we're offline, I'll talk to you about something. Um, what demands do you make on your d- distribution partners? Well, we we really try to make it as simple as possible for them. Uh, again, understanding it's a new product and a very novel approach. Uh, we. We don't. We try not to put a lot of demands on it, but uh, in order to make it cost effective, we have a minimum order size of ten units. And uh, oh, that's that, not that's uh, not it. That's not asking much. No, no, and it's uh, you know the price. The price is it's a scaled pricing and dependent on the number of units. And uh, anyone can contact us uh, to if they'd like to discuss that further. Okay. Um, how, uh, do you support your distributors? Well, as, uh, as I mentioned, Bruce, we have a, uh, uh, very nice professional packaging as well as our instruction manual. And, mm-hmm. uh, so with those are really, uh, I think helpful for, for retailers and distributors. Uh, our website is very informative and, uh, at, at magnumrings.com is very informative and, gives a lot of the history and, and uh, uh, practical techniques and use of magnum rings. And mm-hmm. uh, we're, we're looking at point of sale type programs and materials, but those are still in development until we expand our, our, our distribution network more. Okay. What expectations do you have of the European market? Well, you know, as I mentioned, we're, we're very excited about it. We, have about uh, 10% of our sales are overseas. And uh, I think what's really holding us back is, is of course, not the ex- not having as much exposure as yeah. we would like. And then, of course, uh, uh, the $20 charge that we that we put on mm-hmm. for, for shipping overseas, we do a flat rate $20 charge that, of yeah. course, uh, brings that brings that cost from around forty dollars up to sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. So yeah, yeah. We think if we can eliminate w- with distributors, if we can eliminate that shipping charge, and with distributors around the world, I think that will uh, further enhance uh, the the viability and the the, the the pricing on Magnum rings. Hey, most most U.S. products, if it's forty dollars in the U.S., it's forty euros in Europe. So you know, that's another thing you might want to give some God, some thought to. They're just used to paying it. Um, now, do you intend to expand your product range, and is Magnum Rings going to be available in other versions? Oh, uh, Bruce, you know we're all as a brand, we're always looking for for different options. But at this point, we. We're focused on uh, our, our bread and butter and our primary mm-hmm. product uh, being the Magnum Ring system, and we'll see see what the future brings. Okay, but I mean, I mean, is anybody in the laboratory right now looking at different versions? No, I, I can't say there is. I think we're happy with the the version that we have right now. Okay, and uh, we're we're always open to suggestions and improvements, uh, but we think we we think we have a winner. It sounds like it. Well, Jack, I'd like to thank you for being our guest today on Adult Site Broker Talk, and uh, I hope we'll get a chance to do this again down the road. My broker tip today is part five of how to buy an adult website. Last week, we talked about how to determine the value of a website, how to negotiate the sale, and how to get to the point of drawing up an agreement. So now you're talking to your attorney and you're having them draft an agreement. What should be in it? Well, your attorney will guide you through the legal side, but here are some considerations to keep in mind from a buying standpoint. What is the date you'd like to close? Make sure you know that you'll have the money to either pay the deposit or the entire amount of the purchase by that date. I've had buyers who aren't ready and that just causes issues. In fact, I'm going through some of those right now with a couple of my deals. Make sure that all of the assets you're purchasing are in that agreement such as every domain included in the sale, processing and payment accounts, relationships with vendors, all records including 2257 data, software to run the sites, and any other assets such as source code for the sites. Of course, it should spell out any payment schedule if there is one. Who's responsible for closing costs, such as paying for escrow? 
And there are always terms that are unique to yours and the seller's situation. This assumes you're the party responsible for drawing up the agreement. If the seller is drawing up the agreement, then it's important that you express all of this to your legal representative so they can check the seller's agreement and see if any changes are necessary. We'll talk about this subject more next week. And next week we'll be talking to Heather Montgomery of Please Me. And that's it for this week's Adult Site Broker Talk. I'd once again like to thank my guest, Jack Armstrong. Talk to you again next week on Adult Site Broker Talk. I'm Bruce Friedman.